Digging deeper, doctors are calling the rise in gun violence across the country a public health crisis. Now they are using scientific research to find ways to treat this like an illness. Emma Jerome is live this morning after speaking with local law enforcement. And Emma, has this research helped curb any of the violent crime we're seeing? Morning, Ken. Emily, yes, place based intervention is the idea that an environment directly affects what's produced from the environment, whether that be violence or a safer community. And this intervention system has been implemented across the country and proven to be successful. It was even implemented here in the city of Portland about 10 years ago. PPB, along with the community, renovated the intersection of Albina and Killingsworth, which Sergeant Mark. Friedman with PPB said at one point was the place you were most likely to get robbed at gunpoint in the city. The project was the runner up for a Herman Goldstein Award, a national recognition of successful problem oriented policing. Adding a fence to the top of a wall, uh, some of the doorways and alcoves that were used for drug dealing and drug use were, were mitigated. We did some work with TriMet on our bus shelters and um, actually just turned them opposite directions. These were simple solutions that he says worked. According to the report for the project published by PPB from 2011 to 2012, violent crime fell by 70% in the five year stretch between 2007 and the end of 2011, crime fell 67% as compared to 2012. And in the next half hour, we speak with a chief researcher for this sort of intervention when it comes to place based intervention solutions about different cities and what he says this looks like when it is done successfully. Reporting live in Portland this morning, Emma Jerome, Queen 6 News. All right, Emma, thank you. Happening